Hi, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing 10 signs that a man is emotionally invested in you. Hi ladies, Matt Schaefer here, your empowerment connection and relationship coach. I'm a former attorney who's committed his life to supporting you in creating the sort of fun, fulfilling, dynamic connections and relationships with men that you're so worthy of. And I'm really excited about today's topic. We're gonna dive into a whole bunch of signs, a whole bunch of tells that are gonna help you understand if a man that you're seeing or getting to know is emotionally invested in you or he's not. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but before we dive into it, take a second, hit that little subscribe button, and don't forget to click that link in the comments and caption. I have created some awesome training that's gonna make a huge difference in your connections and relationships with men. So I wanna start off with a really interesting fact. Did you know that men actually fall in love much faster than women on average? Yep, on average, it takes a man 88 days to fall in love with you. And along that pathway, right, they're gonna become more and more emotionally invested in you. Emotional investment is the currency of love. And so here are 10 telltale signs that a man is beginning to open his heart to you. Number one is they embrace your flaws with open arms and a smile. And this reminds me of a really great quote that we come to love not by finding a perfect person, but by learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. So what does this look like? If a man is seeing your flaws and he's seeing them as endearing or cute or charming or even part of the main reasons why he loves you, then it's a great sign that he's becoming emotionally invested in you. Maybe you snort when you laugh and he finds it freaking adorable. <laughs> Maybe you get a little jealous, right? If you see that an ex-girlfriend liked one of his social media posts and instead of him feeling threatened or turned off by it, he actually appreciates your passion and your fire. So when a man is emotionally invested in you, He's gonna see all your quirks and all the little weird facets of your personality or the things that you might be self-conscious about. He's gonna see them as just more reasons to love and appreciate you. Maybe something you're ashamed of in your body, like maybe you have some cellulite or you've always been self-conscious about your hips or a different aspect of your body. If a man is emotionally invested in you, he's not seeing those things as flaws. He's seeing them as part of what makes you unique and wonderful. Number two, they are exceptionally present and proactive to your needs. And this could look a lot of different ways. Say you're walking down the street with him and you're maybe shivering a little bit, right? He's gonna notice that and he will give you his jacket or even the shirt off his back to make you warm, to make you feel more comfortable. Or if you come home from work and maybe you've had a bad day, he's going to notice that you're not necessarily looking real bright and he's going to immediately ask you, you know, hey, what's going on, right? How can I support you? And I want you to think about this because it's not just about being present. It's about being present to how you're feeling and what's coming up for you and really noticing it. And then it's being proactive about it. He didn't ask you if you were cold. He just gave you his jacket. Or if he sees that you're in a bad mood, he's gonna ask you immediately, why are you in this bad mood and how can I support you? He wants to make it better. So look for that. If he starts doing that to you, then you know he is getting emotionally invested. And number three, they go above and beyond to make you happy. And this works for both direct and indirect requests. So of course, if you make a direct request to a man and he's emotionally invested in you, he is going to go over the top to deliver. So say you say, hey, I wanna go on an adventure date. Could you plan something for us? He's not just gonna plan a little hike, right, to a neighborhood park. He's going to book a cabin or a little coastal retreat for you somewhere. And he's gonna plan out all the details and he's gonna take into account all the things that you like and what you enjoy doing. And he's gonna give you an incredible experience. And an even more powerful sign is if it's an indirect request that he responds to and goes over the top on. Say y'all are walking down the street and you see a scarf right in the window of a boutique that you like and you say, oh wow, that scarf's really pretty. And two weeks later, you see a package on the kitchen table, not even for a holiday or a birthday or anything, and you open it up and it's that scarf and the matching earrings or bag or some other accessory, right? That is a man paying attention to your indirect requests, right? Your needs that you're not even directly asking him about and wanting to give them to you because he truly is invested in you and your happiness. 
And number four is they will make time for you no matter how busy they are. And this is a huge distinction between a man who's just casually interested in you and a man who is really falling for you and really is invested in building a relationship with you. Just, I have to just make this really, really, really clear, right? If a man is emotionally invested in you, he will move mountains to be with you, to spend time with you, to share his life with you. Say, for example, he's got to be on a flight at 3 p.m., he'll still say, hey, I'm going to be out I'm out of town for the week. I really want to see you. Can you meet me for lunch at 1130 just so I can see you one last time before I run to the airport? And he'll show up for that lunch with his bags, knowing he's got to go right to the airport after lunch with you. And it's just a powerful indicator that this man is going above and beyond to make you a part of his life and to spend time with you. So ladies, if a man is constantly too busy or he's only squeezing you in around the edges of his life, he's not willing to move appointments or to really set aside time for you, that's a sign that he's not emotionally invested in you and you either get to pull back and see if he will come forward or maybe you get to go look for somebody else. Because you wanna be with a man who truly values and cherishes your time and is really emotionally grounded in sharing his life with you. Number five, they're genuinely curious about the details of your life. And there's two powerful ways that you'll be able to tell if they're curious about you, right? The first is that they will actually ask you questions about the random trivia and details of your life. For example, they might ask, so how close are you with your sister? Or what was it like growing up in rural Indiana? Were you bored a lot? Because I can tell you from personal experience, I spent some time in rural Indiana. It's pretty boring. It's pretty much cows and cornfields as far as the eye can see. <laughs> and number two, once they ask those questions, they remember the details and they'll just sort of unconsciously bring them up in conversation with you. So they might just randomly comment to you, hey, so are you really looking forward to going home for Christmas? I know it's normally the only time you get to see your sister and that you miss her a lot. So are you excited about that? What are you gonna get her for Christmas? See, that's him indicating through his questions and what he's saying to you that he's remembering all these little nuanced details of your life. That is a really huge green flag and that a man is becoming emotionally invested in you. And number six, they get a little protective over you in a healthy way. And a key point here, ladies, is that a man will feel a masculine sense of responsibility for your physical and emotional well-being as he becomes more and more invested in you. And an early example of this would be him asking you to text him when you get home from a date. That's a really, really powerful sign. And another one would be him demonstrating in a social situation that you two are together with physical intimacy, with like casual touching. I think one of the best examples of that is say I'm walking a girl that I'm dating into a room, a room filled with you know new people. I might have my hand like on the small of her back as I'm walking her into the room so that everybody can kind of just know that she's with me, right? And we're together. So it's just a little subconscious thing. I think a lot of times men do to sort of like demonstrate to the room, hi, so she and I are together. I'm invested in her. And a third great way that a man indicates that he's a protector is if there's anything going wrong in your life, he's really quick to want to fix it and to try to find a way to do so. So say you've got a, a leaky pipe at your house, in your kitchen or your bathroom, and all of a sudden he's over there with a wrench in hand watching YouTube videos, he's magically become a professional plumber. He's not a professional plumber. <laughs> Or say, for example, you're stressing out about something at work. All of a sudden, he might just morph into Dr. Phil and try to give you advice or try to come up with a solution with you, even if it's not very good. So what if you just told Karen to chill out? I mean, you and I both know Karen's not gonna chill out, but he doesn't know that. And number seven is, if a man is emotionally invested in you, he will give you quick and thoughtful responses to your texts, right? Because if a man isn't emotionally invested, he's going to give you those famous three word answers. Say, for example, you ask, so how's your day going, right? In a text message. And he might respond, it was okay. It's going great. And that's it. End of conversation. And that response might come what? Two, three, five, six, eight hours later. Whereas if a man 
is emotionally invested in you, within a half an hour of you asking him how his day is, he's gonna say something like, oh, it's been such a great day, I crushed my meetings at work, which is actually really surprising because I was thinking about you the whole time. So you can see in that response, right, that not only did he respond quickly, letting you know that your communication is a priority for him, he talked a little bit, gave you some details about how his day went, and then managed to throw in a little flirty compliment too to make you feel good. And number eight is he talks about you to his friends and family. And you might be able to tell this a couple different ways, right? Like it might be obvious, right? He might say, so I was talking to my mom about you the other day and talking about how much fun we had on our date. He might just bring it up casually in conversation or it might show up another way, right? You might actually go to meet his family at one time and his mother might say something like, oh, so this is the Amanda we've been hearing so much about. Amanda, it's a pleasure to meet you. And number nine is he introduces you to his friends and family in a reasonable amount of time. I think, I think Chris Rock said it best in one of his old stand-up specials. If you've been dating a guy for more than six months and you haven't met any of his friends, you are not his girlfriend. So a man who is emotionally invested in you, he's gonna introduce you to the people in his life in a reasonable amount of time, probably within two to three or even six months. And generally, it will be friends first, right? And this is a huge breakthrough and a huge sign that he's getting emotionally invested in you because if he's introducing you to his friends, that means he's been talking about you to his friends and he's looking to get their approval, right? For most men, the approval of his friends, of his partner is a huge part of building that relationship. So if you've become a frequent flyer at friend hangouts, know that you've entered the inner circle and you've gained the seal of approval from the people whose opinions matter the most to him. And the 10th sign that a man is emotionally invested in you, and I cannot tell you how important this is, is that he future builds with you. And a key concept here, ladies, is that men are builders. When men are investing in anything, whether it is a house, a career, or a relationship, they want to build it at many different levels. And so if a man starts speaking about things that you and him are doing in the future, things that he would love to do with you, he is building within his mind, within his vision, he is building that future with you. So ask yourself, right, is he talking about things that you're going to be doing three months down the road, six months down the road, places that you might be able to move together. This is a man in his imagination building a future with you, and it is a huge sign that he can see that future, that he's integrating you into his vision, and most high-value men are going to have a big vision for their lives. And if you have become someone that he is emotionally invested in you, he's going to bring you into that future. And it doesn't have to even be direct. If he just starts sharing his goals and his vision for his life with you, right? That Just the fact that he's sharing them with you is a sign that he's indirectly can see you being in those phases of his life with him. Because I can tell you for sure that if a man doesn't want to talk to you ever about anything going on in the future of his life, it's often because he doesn't see you as a part of it. So it's a great idea if a man is talking about his future plans for his life or even bringing you into them and talking about things that you two could do together in the future in his imagination, for you to play along with that and for you to fuel it and nurture it. You are the conductor, remember? So you wanna invite him deeper into thinking and feeling into those situations. That's a great way to encourage him to be vulnerable and to open up to you more because it is a vulnerable act to discuss the future with a woman that you're dating, right? And so anytime a man is being emotionally vulnerable, you want to invite and encourage him to do more of that. So there you go, ladies. 10 powerful signs that a man is becoming emotionally invested in you. Number one, they embrace your flaws with a smile. They think the fact that you fart in bed is kind of cute. <laughs> Number two, they are exceptionally present and proactive to your needs. You don't need to bring a jacket because you know if you get cold, he's gonna give you his. It's not even a question. Number three, they go above and beyond to make you happy. You wanna go out for a three course meal and he ends up booking a eight course meal. Number four, they make time for you no matter how busy they are. So honey, I got surgery at 5 p.m. But before I go under the knife, 
can we please go grab a coffee? <laughs> Number five, they genuinely care about the details of your life. And they're gonna do that by one, asking you about the details of your life, and then two, by remembering those details casually and indirectly moving forward in the relationship. And number six, they get a little protective over you in a healthy way. Never forget, right, that that little hand on the waist, on the way into a room, or if he comes up next to you while you're talking to people and he puts his hand on your waist, that's his indirect communication to the room that you are his. Number seven, quick and thoughtful responses to your text messages. You're never gonna be left hanging or without something to work with when you're dealing with an emotionally invested man. And number eight, he talks about you to his friends and family, and either he's gonna tell you that, or when you finally do show up at a friends and family gathering, they're gonna look at you like a celebrity because they've been hearing so much about you. And number nine, he introduces you to his friends and family in a reasonable amount of time, right? He's not gonna let you hang for six months, eight months, a year. You'll start meeting his friends pretty quickly, right? Within two, three months. And as you become a frequent flyer with his friends, you will know that you have got some major traction in his life. And when you become a frequent flyer at these friends and family gatherings, you will know that you created some serious traction in his life and in his heart. And number 10, he future builds with you. He's talking about the things that you two can do in the future, plans that you can have, adventures that you can have, what sort of family dreams he has, right? Even if he's not specifically bringing you into it, just the fact that he's talking about his future, he's talking about his vision means, hey, I'm willing to share this with you because I can conceivably see you as part of it. So I hope that these help you decide and discern if a man in your life is emotionally invested in you or not so that you can make the decisions that are in your best interest for your relationships because you are worthy of powerful love with a man who is truly emotionally invested in falling in love with you. So I hope you enjoyed this video, but before you go out there and find that dream guy, take a second, hit that little subscribe button, and don't forget to click that link in the comments and caption. I have created some awesome training that's gonna make a huge difference in your connections and relationships with men. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.